What's up everybody, Dan Focal Fury here, and uh, got a few Battlefield clips to show you right now. Um, this is me playing a game of Rush on CN Crossing, I believe. Uh, did this last night, thought I would do a little commentary uh, over this video, and give a review of what I have seen so far in Battlefield 3. Um, mind you, the game has been out for two full days now, uh, and I have only been playing multiplayer. Um, but I think that's still a pretty good indication of uh, what the game's looking like, what the bugs are, what I really like. That guy scared the crap out of me. Um, and yeah, so I thought I'd get that for you. Well, let's see. I gotta start at the goods, I believe. And this game looks beautiful. The scenery, the shadows, the building destruction is absolutely incredible. Um, I... I I love the destruction engine that the Frostbite 2 engine has to offer here. Uh, buildings you can just shoot right through and bring down on top of an enemy. And it's scary, these explosions and these missiles flying by your head. Um, amazing job with the graphics. Uh, I, get to play, I get to play it on high, uh, high settings. I could play on ultra, um, but I can't record on ultra. So high still looks amazing. Um, the sound quality and the sounds are incredible. They they really, really do add to the realism. It is quite scary when that sniper bullet hits you square in the face. Uh, the sound it makes is is nuts. And uh, hearing a rocket whiz by your head as you're driving around in a little Jeep, uh, you know, both you and your passenger are just going, oh, crap, get down. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I have nothing bad to say about the graphics or the sound. Uh, the destruction engine, like I said, is great. Um, sometimes things like that tree right there, it may happen, I, I don't remember. Um, it's neat that it falls down, and it actually does provide a little bit of cover, and you see I actually had to walk up and over it. Uh, I guess I'm moving forward, but it'll just whew, randomly disappear. It's kind of weird, uh, especially on Operation Metro, that's the one I could think of. Uh, a tree will have fallen ne next to an objective, and you're using it for cover, and then, duh, it's gone. So, and then you're kind of out in the open and screwed. Um, but that's a little thing, really. Um, this game here, this one I played, I did pretty well. I think I, I mean, it's certainly not better than 1 to 1, but I went 17 and 20. I s kept up 1 to 1 ratio for a while, and then uh, I sort of fell at the end. Uh, but I'm glad I was recording, because I felt pretty good about it. Um, the weapons, uh, you know, we're in day two weaponry. So you're not getting the best of the best, and certainly not what you want to use. Um, but overall, I'm liking them. Uh, you really do have to work for each one. You know, I just, uh, I've just i unlocked the red dot on this AKS-47U, I think this one is. And uh, I think I have a foregrip on here that makes it a little more accurate. Maybe I don't, I can't remember. But, um... I, let's see, what what have I been playing? I've been playing as Engineer, mostly. Um, Engineer, the class has been really revamped. I really like it. Uh, you know, you've got your 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 machine gun here, or your uh, submachine gun. Um, pistol, of course. <clears throat> and then you can either choose a rocket launcher or a, like a Stinger heat-seeking missile for anti-air, which is uh, kind of cool. Okay, back to the explosion, so check this out. <laughs> it's pretty intense. I just got my, I just got myself handed. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So back to the weapons. Um, and they're fun to use, you know. Um, oh, kits. I was going over kits. Sorry. Uh, so engineer, you could use a a rocket launcher for like anti ground, or you could use like a stinger for anti air. You have to earn the anti air, but um, it certainly does provide a another level when uh, you're flying and you can shoot anti-air down. Um, I've been playing a little bit of Assault. Uh, I was talking with my buddy last night and he's like, you just gotta get through that the first weapon in Assault because after that then you start getting to the good stuff. And he's right, so uh, this game notwithstanding, I'm gonna start using Assault more uh, just so I can unlock some better machine guns, Assault rifles, because that's where I want to be really. Um, it is neat that Assault uh, or I keep calling it assault from like Bad Company 2, but uh, you know your assault rifles like the M16. 
um, has a uh, a med uh, is your medic as well. So that's kind of cool. It makes it makes that class very usable. Um, the other one, the the heavy machine gun, I haven't quite used that often, but it is pretty neat if you prone down to the ground uh, and and set up shop, you will unfold a bipod and it gives you a little more accuracy. You have about a 45 degree uh, left and right field of view, but it's it's pretty neat. I haven't sniped at all. I am not a good sniper, and um, I do want to unlock more of the class, but not yet. I, I, I suck at it. Um, let's see. Guy at the top of the stairs in 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Flying. Aircraft. Um, it's fun. It's it's kind it it. It is really fun, but I am horrible at it again. Uh, I have to use a mouse. I don't have a joystick out here. If I had a joystick, it'd probably be a lot easier, and I could fine-tune a lot more things, but um, it certainly is fun. I, I think they added this aspect in quite well. I wasn't sure how jets were going to add, um, but they're not, you know, super million miles fast, you know, which is actually what you don't need. You don't want them screaming past, and no one can shoot them, and you don't have time to shoot at the ground. It works. I like it a lot. Um, <clears throat> but let's see. Am I? What other great things can I say about it? Um, I love the teamwork aspect. Uh, I, I've always loved that about the Battlefield series. Um, I'm regularly playing with at least one person, really. Usually up to about four to six people. And um, getting in a squad with your buddies and really coordinating your efforts. We have our own voice Ventrilo server, which is awesome. But I know Origin has its own uh, voice chat available. It it makes for... Oh, this was stupid. I grabbed a mine out instead of trying to pistol that guy. Um, playing together with a group makes this game just five times more fun and enjoyable. I like doing things with a tactical edge, and uh, that's really great. Okay, so now some of the things that I, I'm, I'm not particularly fond of, and truly, there's not many, and it really doesn't even have to do with the actual game. It's the servers, it's the way you join a server that just doesn't make sense to me whatsoever. Whatever. Now, it's day two. I know there's going to be server problems, I know it'll get better. Um, the little blips that I know will get better are things like, you know, sometimes it's difficult to join a server. Um, sometimes it's weird. You'll you'll hit quick match if you're just playing by yourself, and it'll say, sorry, that server is full. Well, maybe you shouldn't have put me in a quick match that the server was full. That's your own fault, EA. Um, now, I did just touch on the whole teamwork thing. Um... God, there's so many there's so many different aspects of what I want to talk about that's wrong with this. I don't know where to start. So let's start at the very beginning. Origin. You have to use Origin to play Battlefield 3. Okay, fair enough. I didn't really want to do that. I would have rather used Steam, but that's not in the cards at all. So you use Origin, and everyone's added their friends, and you hit Play Battlefield 3. And it launches a web browser with Battlelog, which is half is pretty cool. From the point that it has all your stats there, you can click on your friends and it shows their stats. But that's your only way to launch games, to look for servers, to do anything else. And it reminds me of Facebook. I mean, seriously. Everyone has their own page. You can you can write something at the top. You can hoo-ha to like uh, something. It puts all your achievements up. That's kind of neat. But it's Facebook. You've got a comm center in the bottom right with your friends list that you can chat with and you can bring people into a party, which, mind you, your friends list. Now, remember, Origin launches Battlefield Battle Log in your Internet Explorer or Firefox or whatever. You have to add all of your friends again to play together. So there's no point in adding anybody to Origin because it... I mean, there is an option to import your Origin... Uh, friends to battle log, but I didn't find it to work right. I had to add everyone manually. So that was kind of annoying. <clears throat> From there, the actual joining a server, um, the mechanics of it are as sound as it can be for doing this in an, in an internet window. Um, you 
can add people into a party, so you all join together, and then the host will search for a server and say, join with party. And it brings a little window. When everyone's ready, it, it launches into the map, or the host launches into the map. So first of all, and right now, this is where the servers just aren't quite ready, some of them, you know. Sometimes it's difficult to get into a map. Once you can get into a server, I never had any problems, you know. I like, you know, in terms of servers and lag, I think these are non-issues I think will be worked out. But my biggest gripe, I think, is uh, DICE and EA, this is such a team-oriented game. And, you know, it's a tactical game, and that's what they've been stressing, and they always have. And that's what's so great about the Battlefield series. So why then, if I have four people in my party, why on earth would you split our team up? half on opposition and half four. That doesn't make sense whatsoever. Or, to even go a step further, why shouldn't we just be put in a squad together? You know, I understand that the servers and teams need to be balanced, and maybe everyone is in a big party, so it just puts us, it splits us up because we're the last one in. But I think it should be balancing people that aren't in parties. Uh, but then again, Origin doesn't communicate with Battlelog. Maybe Battlelog doesn't even really communicate with the uh, the in-game. And of course, that's a joke. I'm sure it does. So that's that's what's a little frustrating um, for me and for us as a bunch of my friends. It's difficult to get into a game, get on the same team, get in the same squad. That usually takes us about um, like two games. We have to get in. Crap, we're all on this different team. We have to get on the same team. Okay, that takes about 10, 15 minutes a game or two games just because it won't let us because the teams would be unbalanced. Uh, so it's it's tough, but I mean, hopefully things like this will be worked out. Um, you know, it is early, but I truly am really impressed. Oh, one other thing. My Logitech gamepad does not work at all in this game. It did in beta. It did in Bad Company 2. That really sucks. I really miss using my gamepad. Um, I've sent in some requests and opened some threads. Hopefully it'll get changed. Um, it's not me. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I'm running out of time, but uh, it's not me. Um, Let's see here. Overall, though, truly impressed with the game. It's a lot of fun to play. I've already played about 10 hours. That's what it says my game time is, but I know I've played more. I think 10 hours actual in-game. Uh, maybe I've spent an hour altogether trying to get into servers, but, you know. Um, so that's the good, the bad. Uh, the ugly is that server browser interface. I mean, who in their right mind said, Johnson, how do you think we should play this game? Well, we can make them all have to launch it in Internet Explorer. Brilliant. Let's not come up with a back end where everyone can log into the actual game. No, I don't know. It's a little... It's a gripe. It really is. Uh, I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but it's it's not. Um, <clears throat> other... <laughs> you know, other than that, like I said, once, once you can get into a server... Sometimes getting into a server is frustrating, but once you get into it... It's uh, it's great, and we all have a great time. There's not much lag, so I think it's been good. So, my team lost. Um, I didn't care. I thought I played pretty well. What was I? Twelve, uh, 17 and 22. Eh, whatever. It's a lot of kills. I'm happy with that. So, uh, as you can see, I'm a level 9. <clears throat> um, add me on Battle Log, because don't add me on Origin, as I just mentioned. Battlelog is Focal Fury, just like my uh, username on YouTube here. Uh, I really do appreciate you watching. If you liked or found this review helpful, uh, please give me a like, a favorite, subscribe, say hello, throw some things in the comments, send me candy. I don't care what you want to do, but I hope you do something. Hope everyone's having a great day, and uh, looking forward to posting more videos for you guys. Until uh, next time, uh, I'll catch you later. But I have I actually have zero percent health right now. Oh, okay. I stubbed my toe, I'm dead.